Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the Talk Your Culture. I am your host, Chris Fagan, and I am also sponsored by Diamond Cut. Come on down here, get you a haircut. I ain't going to show you mine, because I got these. And we are also sponsored by Dr. Grizzly's Shoe Cleaner, right here. Go on Amazon.com, and you can pull this up and get it. Or you hit Dr. Grizzly up, or you just might call me. I have it for you. And we have an outstanding citizen of our, our very own town, Thomaston, Georgia, with us today. Um, we did a previous uh, interview with him last year or the year before on the black history. So we really touched more on him in that, in that particular segment. So you can defer back to it if you want to know more about him. We're going to elaborate into him more in this episode, but this specific episode is specifically about the city of Thomas and Georgia and who other than a historian who has studied this city and the history of this city better than Reverend James McGill. Happy to have you here, my brother. Thank you for allowing us this opportunity to uh, be a part of this great program. Oh yeah, for this sure. Um, and we want to thank you. Thank yeah. you for uh, the work you're doing. Oh uh, yeah, I, mean, I got to do my part. You know, God told me to do my part. I heard the voice. And, you know, I've just been trying to do that ever since. And uh, to be honest with y'all, me and Mr. McGill, we, we've been uh, talking about doing this segment for quite some time. And, you know, we just been missing here and there. So, you know, it's, it's not like, uh, you know, we just trying something. We actually have been trying to do this for some time. And we've seen each other multiple times and talked about it. Uh, this will be the first time y'all get to see what we talk about when we talking to each other, you know what I'm saying? So we're just going to go ahead and kick it right off right now, and uh, I'm going to ask you a basic question. Like, have you always lived in Thomaston? I've always lived in Thomaston. Um, I was born in a place called Colored Town that you, uh, we call downtown um, uh, on the Giffords Alley. Yeah. I was in the Giffords Alley. Area night. Now, 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 when you say downtown, try to be a little bit more specific. Like Bethel Street. Bethel Street. Okay. Best, best, yeah. best, the Bethel Street area. Yeah. My friend, if you know at 513 Bethel Street, yeah. old Bethel Funeral Home. <laughs> oh, for okay, sure. The, the, the street that comes out of the, comes out there, yeah. you used to call it uh, Gifford's Alley. Okay. So they have changed the from... name now. When you change the name, you change the history. You change the history. It's, it's, they call it Cunningham. Okay. But that is that is that was gift was happening. So from now on, I want everybody to the, refer to downtown as Color Town. The, the reason the reason <laughs> his name is uh, Color Town because in the uh, 1865 when the soldiers came through here, there was um, a man that a uh, black man that worked had a, a horse bug, horse buggy. Make uh, selling stuff. He was a black man, and uh, soldier came out and ran everybody, ran everybody out, hmm. and he bought that town. Yeah, he he bought he bought it, and so when he bought it, he bought it, he, they called it Color Town. Mm -hmm. He started St. Mary, and they had the first emancipation up there. The first emancipation. Uh, elaborate on the first emancipation real quick. In uh, eighteen uh, six five, and when the soldier came through. They told them that they had signed the uh, 14th Amendment Constitution okay. and that all slaves were free. Mm -hmm. And when they come through here, they, to they told them that they were free. But uh, as slavery, they didn't want to be free. Yeah. And they uh, stood there for, stayed there slave for 40 days yeah. after they don't bring the meals and yeah. tore the railroad track down and yeah. took all the f food. And they came out and started and told they was free. And right over here at, um, at the finish, finish where we be start our parades at, uh, that used to be a slave, and like you say that a slave depot. This the, the parade was the slave depot. Okay. Right. You know, see all the railroad tracks. Mm -hmm. They come around. They people get off railroad track okay. and have a, a feast all the way up to Pillars Mill, and all in that area. In that area. So so how did we turn uh, the slave? Import into our own thing because we bought it. Okay. You, you, when you have the power with your own land, right, you can do what 
you want to do. Okay. And like you say, and I, as I said, you're for Spears, and I already bought that land. Okay. St. Mary, it's from um, riding in the railroad tracks. Mm -hmm. In the railroad tracks. So, so that will be why the, the parade is so important to people. Right. You know, because I'm going to be honest with you. I like the parade. I always have liked the parade, but I've seen it enough times where, I mean, it'd be okay if I don't see another one, but that's just me, right? And I'm not speaking for everybody when I say that because everybody loves the parade, but I never really knew why the, the attachment to the parade is what it is until now. You know, like when we go back in history, mm -hmm. uh, we was all born around the creek. You was born around, I was talking to you about uh, Kilner Creek mm -hmm. and Toba Creek. Yeah. And like you said, I was born in uh, Drake Creek. Yeah. The creek running behind the schoolhouse. Yeah. Uh, when you go down, going County Road, going toward uh, Data Creek Hike. Yeah. Where, where you got City Lemon, that's Drake, that's Drake Creek. You got Bell Creek in Langham Park. And you got a Chomper Creek in Salem, Turkey Creek in, uh, and, and they kept us separated. And like I said, in history, we couldn't talk to each other. And when they kept us separate, they only taught us what they want to teach us. Right. And like you say, um, where they taught people in um, Toba Creek and King Street the value of their land, mm -hmm. how important the land, how you need to hold on to the land. Right. And that was, but, but at uh, Drake Creek, we was taught the value of emancipation. Okay. Because we, were, we, were, we came in on the train. And we didn't have the land. So they, they taught us different. And see, and my great great granddad, granddad was on the Emancipation Committee in 1920 when, the, when, it, when it was downtown. So uh, with the bloodline there. Color Town. Color Town. <laughs> when, it, when, it, when, it, when, it, when it was in Color Town. Yeah. yeah but that was the bloodline there. I'm there. Yeah. yeah. yeah like I say, but in 1927, when the mills expanded, yeah. and like I said, they, they needed that land for the bleachery. Then that's when they shipped it out to a Bell Creek. And then, like you say, their ancestors, mm -hmm. their ancestors, they, they that's what they taught out there. That's why it's so important. And I, and I, and I believe it's, it's not as important uh, on Toba Creek or, or Kinder Creek or, 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 or Chumper Creek because of what was taught. Right. So I, I had a, a DJ from Griffin on here uh, a couple months ago, and I told him that, you know, I can tell where somebody is from, like city, according to how they talk and the way they talk. But you can tell the way somebody's where somebody was raised in this town right. according to the creek they was nearby. Yeah. And that's because your history of knowing of how they was taught. Right. Okay, so... And we are, you, you said Locktown is Kendall Creek. Right. Okay. So what what they was taught there, because I'm telling you, boy, I grew up in Locktown. <laughs> what happened now, uh, there's two kinds of slaves. Okay. There's a resident slave, and there's transit slave. And transit slave were those that came in on that train. Okay. And they was dumped on in the alleys, oh. which were color town. Which they didn't have anything, right? And so they was trained. They they come in with nothing, okay. and they had nothing. But the resident slave, they had never been slave, because when in 1865, when the slave came through, I mean the uh, soldiers came through, and told us, Doctor Kendall, Doctor Kendall gave the land to his kids. They gave the, the land uh, toward Yatesville. He gave it to the Millbrooks. And the one in the middle, uh, he gave it to the Kinders. The down by my way row, he gave it to the Cunningham. So they always had land. Mm. So that's what their mentality was. And if you go down in Salem, Salem used to have a meal down there. Yeah. And like you said, and their mindset is is business people. Uh, like <laughs> you, they, they come, they they they, 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 they straight business. Don't you don't you make no mistake. Them folks in Salem buy some business. <laughs> they, 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 about I mean, but, but it was what being taught. Right, right. What been taught? You know, the story been telling. Salem was the first. Uh, it was it was it was Hooterville then. Yeah. Hooterville was the first uh, uh, settlement. Yeah. In Upland County. Yeah. Hooterville is two hundred <laughs> years old. Yeah, I'm telling you, 
I grew up in Lot Town, and my father is from Salem. Mm-hmm. And you know he he would often take us to Salem when he would go. So that's how I got acquainted with Salem. But over the years, I learned from myself: you, you ain't playing, you ain't lying. <laughs> not saying the people in Lot Town not about business. That ain't what I'm saying. But, it, it, but it's a larger community it, it, in Salem. It's what they been taught. Yeah, it's, it's what they, what they been taught. Yeah, if if you're told, now you know. Hey, I'll tell on you. Yeah. <laughs> Did you realize the most safest community in Ocean County? Well. Salem. <laughs> I mean, you had you had you had a situation with Salem, but most of them from outside. Right. But like I said, if you base this, you know why? Why? They don't let anybody in there. That not if they don't know they're in there. <laughs> no, right. <laughs> they, they they know every spot of land in there. Yeah. They know every spot of land. But but yeah. like, you take downtown, you got people coming up in and out. Yeah. You know, family apartments, you were good. Yeah. So people start up moving there. If you let people in and out, you let crimes come out. Yeah. But if you if you hold it solid, yeah. Then you hold yours. But it, it boils down to the mentality. Yeah. You know, because before 1863, we didn't have no knowledge. Right. We didn't have no knowledge. Oh, right. they, oh, oh, they, 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 they brainwash us, right? Right. But then after 1863, we started getting out. Then, like you said, then, but we, we had it. In our area, mm-hmm. we we had it in our area, like I say, I, I, I like I say, my blood run downtown Salem, mm-hmm. downtown. No, what you, my blood, but all I knew what was happening downtown. Right, right. But like I say, but but then, which is color town, color town. Right? <laughs> you asked why people fight color town, people fight so hard for emancipation. Yeah, because that's it's all. No, about. I'm learning. That, 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 that's, that's what we blood. We, that's our bloodline. Yeah, yeah because. We when we came in we didn't have nothing. Yeah. And when we celebrated, we, we celebrate. We got something. Yeah. And this this, this black man ain't give a spill who bought this land. We got our own land. We somebody now. Yeah. We we, we just like Bell Creek. We we, we and like said, but but like you said, it's it's all in 18, 1863, mm-hmm. We didn't have no history, right? Yeah. And then from eighteen sixty three to nineteen fifty eight, we had different we had different schools. Every every neighborhood had their own church school, and they taught what was in the neighborhood, right? Mm-hmm. But then in 1954, 55, when Brian versus Bay Education, we all came to uh, the same place. School, yeah. But when we came to the same place, then they started teaching the lies. Uh-huh. We, my generation had lived a lie for 70 years. 70 years. Because, because of who owned the land. Now, who, 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 well, you, 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 you study your history, you find out yeah. what happened in 1935, New Deal. You find out what happened in 1954, Brian Burst of Education. You find out what happened in 1966, the Civil Rights. And, and New Deal came in and built the school. Brian Burst Education gave us the best school. Six, the uh, six four amendment come down and tore everything that we had. Mm. Then that's when your generation came. Okay. Your generation came and began between the merge you know, and you began to know each other and, yeah. and going through the what you call. And that, and that's when you learn the power of history. Mm-hmm. That's when you learn the power of religion. Mm-hmm. And that's when you know the power of money. Fast forward and into uh, the young man, who, the police officer, put his knee on his neck. And, and it killed him. Right. And uh, that was the first time I've seen us in this nation unified. Right. And it was ugly, a little embarrassing, but necessary. We got power base. You know. We and got power base. I think that it. was the first time we let them know, you know, don't put no more knees on us. Or we'll come up out of that, you know what I'm saying? But definitely shout out to Salem because you ain't lying. But... That's going to segue into the next thing I wanted to say, um, which is Color Town, a.k.a. Downtown. Actually, the current neighborhood we are in, you know, we're not we don't have to disclose the exact address, but we are off Bethel Street, you know, right now. All right. So me and my coworker, the young guy who you saw when you came in, I always tell him that this neighborhood is almost gentrified. He don't really know what I mean. Because he don't know the history. He don't know what this place used to look like. 
<laughs> uh, it's almost buried. Right. Like it's almost buried. Because if you take the fine, they say keep the money mm -hmm. in the community. You can't keep the money in the community. You ain't got the business to put the money in. Right. Right. Uh, if you don't know, Lincoln Park and Silvertown is twins. Both of them were birthed in 1927. One of them birthed because of Thomas Mill, Lincoln Park, and Silver, no, Martha Mill were birth. And they have and they have a boundary around Silvertown. They have a boundary, and it's historic preservation. It is historic preservation. But the boundary around color time is not known. If we had a boundary, you couldn't put anything you want over here. Mm -hmm. Like you can't put anything in civil town. In civil town. Right. The boundary of color town is when you come down Taylor Creek North, you know, with the Taylor Creek Bridge, if you take a, a left, there's a, a branch come across called Drake Branch. Mm -hmm. Drake Branch come behind uh, B Street, cross uh, County Road, and go all the way down Cobb Town Road to get to the railroad track. I do find it interesting that all these mills are nearby each now, other. It's a reason, but then you get you get the you get the railroad track, come up the railroad track, right? Mm -hmm. And you'll come up by uh, Commerce Finance, mm -hmm. and then if you come down. North of uh, Hotel Street, back there's a branch come around St. Mary at Drake Branch, and it goes back to the Drake Branch. That is the boundary of Color Town. Mm -hmm. And uh, it used to be Cities of Thomaston. Cities of Thomaston, you, Cities of Thomaston should be Cities of Thomaston, should be Silvertown, East Thomaston, and Thomaston, right? Mm -hmm. It all should be Color Town. Yeah. But the boundary is not being recognized. Change the name. Change the history. Okay, what I'm saying is, like, just this, just how this neighborhood used to look compared to how it looks now. Like, right, there's probably three buildings um, here. This one and the, the Handy Mark gas station. And this is a small building right here. But before then... This entire area was covered with buildings. I remember when I was younger, it was buildings over here in this corner where these people be playing cornhole every day. There used to be buildings right there. Like none of those buildings. I, I don't, I hear tell you telling me about a bus station. I don't remember no bus station right here. Maybe I'm not old enough. Maybe I didn't come through here then. Like all of that stuff is no longer here. You did. You did. <laughs> if you, like you say, uh, where are you born? 81. Like you say, you was 10 years old. And like you say, we're not going to let you out a lot of time, come down time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let me read you a, a portion of my, my, of my speech. Go ahead. It says, um, our next stop, let us trail back to the 1800. Let's go down south on Potato Creek. And before, before we get to the mark of Highway 19, crossing the Potato Creek, we will find Drake Branch. If we turn on Drake Branch Railroad all the way to Highway 36 going southwest, to South High Tower and go down Drake Brack, we will be boundary of, of Color Town. Color Town was born from our historic date, May 29th, 1865. The historic date is another great example of how we, we are stronger when we work together by the River Creeks and Brack. One great Color Town example of unity was Gilford Spears, who lived in the house crawled from the courthouse behind the county jail. He lived with his wife, Ellen, whom he purchased out of slavery, and something that was forbidden at that time. By the late 1800s, Gifford Spiel operated his own hunters and shoe shop in the prime location of the co-house, and he and his brother was among the eight enslaved who made boots, shoes, and hunted and cellar around the co-house to wear. Gifford Spiel had an estimation wealth of $2,000 in cash. In April of 1865, the Union soldiers marched into Upton County, destroying the mills, the crop, and the railroad. The slave trader abundant the land which were led to be, uh, be purchased by Gifford Spears. A color time was a thriving community formed in May 1865. Mm -hmm. On May 29, 1866, his son William Gifford organized the first emancipation. In 1867, St. Mary AME Church was established. 
Three years later, in 1870, Macedonia Baptist Church was established. And the first church school was held at St. Mary. In 1881, Color Public School, the first public school in the community was formed. In 1899, Tom Mill Pier Mill opened. The St. the Mary Mars Society provided an elder house in the, in the community. Then in 1902, William Gifford, the successor to the land owned by his father, was indicted for selling intoxicated liquor, plead guilty, and served six months on the chain gang. Being a felony, one time felony, he utterly lost his right to color time. However, this did not stop our ancestors were still working together. In 1933, Hill Cunningham invested his own money to build the Hill Shopping, Shopping Center at the corner of Bethel and Daniel. That's right here. Right, right there. Mm -hmm. In 1865, a <clears> hundred <throat> years later, Color Town had five restaurants, three laundromats, two pool rooms, five convenience stores, three barbershop, gas station, theater, mo motel, ballpark, playground, furniture store, and the list go on. However, I ask you today, what happened to those businesses in that striving uh, color town community? They were buried. Yeah, um, yeah because I've I seen the pictures, but before the pictures, I remember abandoned buildings. Some buildings were still being utilized. But I do remember a lot of abandoned buildings being up and down and even down Daniel Street here. I remember buildings being over here where these people play cornhole and have the office of emancipation. <clears throat> but I don't have any recollection of the theater. I keep hearing about yeah. the theater. It was just one. It was a it was movie screen How theater. theater. You, will you watch movies yeah, or movie. you, you just I, saw a play? It was a movie. <clears throat> my first my uh, movie called <clears throat> Invitation of Life. I mean, every, every, every Friday, every Saturday, we get through playing ball, we go into the movie. And that's where the girl met. That, 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 that's, where, that's where everybody come and meet. And this was 19... The 70s? The 70s. Six, it really was 65, from 65 to 70. Oh, see, man. See, 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 think about that. I mean, I, I experienced that. I experienced this experience. But like, you know, but because we didn't know our history, mm -hmm. we didn't know our history, we lost it. And like in the next generation, next generation, if you don't know your history, how can you help other generations? You don't know where you're going <clears throat> unless you know where you came from. Right. Yes. It's like, it's like I said, like I said in, in, uh, in, in 1954, when the Brian versus Bold Education, and uh, in 18, when we, the first uh, Thomas Training School, 1954, got the high school diploma. Mm -hmm. Called people, got me get mad. They got mad, and they began to try to twist it up. I mean, if we're not on top of our history, our teaching in the Bible, and our money, you know, you know, I, I hear, uh, I heard Fagan um, say when he got ready to go out and play ball. He always talk about a uh, long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, 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 I'm from I'm from the city long time. Yeah, if you knew the city history, you could build that. Yeah, I mean, like you said, you got you got you you got you got you got the history history. You got the money and the money. Education. You got everything. Yeah. but if we come to the table, yeah, we come to the table, and you got the land. Mm -hmm. You got the, you 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 have the land. Yeah, you you but but like you say. Um, they taught us there's two type of politics in the uh, black community. Mm -hmm. One is Booker T. Washington. The other one is W. D. Boss. Who is that? Booker T. Washington. I know who that is. Booker T. Washington taught that everything is good in the other man's hand. You know, we yeah. can't we can't handle anything. Yeah. Everything good in the other man's hand. Yeah. And so what we did, we gave them our schools. And look what they did to them. Mm. Monroe, Monroe G. Worthy, that's his philosophy. He cried on his deathbed. 
right? Yeah. But then the WD DeVos, give me mine. I can handle mine. Yeah. Jay Benner, he sued everything in here. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. And like I said, but, but, well, my, but you got, but you still got us fighting amongst each other. Yeah, we do. So like I say, if 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 if, 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 if some um, downtown, they W D DeVos. Yeah. They, they were slaves. They was trained for a slave. So they not lawyer. Yeah. They not lawyer. And so and that's like if somebody gonna run downtown, they gotta be W D DeVos. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. But like, but, but the majority of the people, the booty washed. Okay. You know, like you say, uh, Dr. Kendall, you yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he, he gave me this land. <laughs> you understand? Hey, <laughs> hey, well, listen, guys, uh, <laughs> this is Color Town. Don't, don't look at that as derogatory or downing. I mean, usually, let me ask you this. Usually when you see something <clears throat> gray, black and white, if you add some color to it, what happens? It starts getting vibrant, don't it? So we gonna. This is color town. I hope I don't piss nobody well, off. <laughs> but only way you are gonna find the history, you got to keep the name. Yeah. Cause when you start changing name, <clears throat> you change. You change history. You you you, you cannot. You cannot. Color money. <laughs> <laughs> but like, but like, 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 like I said, it's, it's right there. Yeah. Most most of the names here. Yeah. They were named after 1865. Right. Like Yavia. Yeah. That was 1865. Like Rock. Rock is Piedmont. Yeah. It's, it's Piedmont. But if you want to find Rock, you got to find Piedmont. Yeah. Yeah. I gotcha. mean, we can't, be, we can't be ashamed of our names. Right. We can't be ashamed. I mean, that's the only way you know. Right. You, you, can, you cannot <laughs> find nothing about downtown until you go back to that color man. That's right. Y'all heard that. <laughs> uh, define religion. And how it uh, and how it applies to human power or lack thereof. Religion gives a hope. Sunday school lessons is, is talking about uh, Sunday. Uh, if you look in the Bible, the Bible will give the Word of God will give you hope. Yeah. When I was start preaching like fifty uh, fifty years ago, and uh, God gave me a word. And I, if I wake up in the morning, I'm going to tell you what it is. It's flight H-28. All things going to work for the good. Yeah. That love the law. That call according to the purpose. That word is my hope. I don't care what anybody say about me. I don't care what anybody do to me. You slap me. You can, it's going it to work for my good. And this is what the word of God gives you. Hope. But where does hope come from? Hope. Hope is a, is a, is a. A view of the future, anticipation. So like you said, in, you, so in it, other words, if you if you hope that um, Longtown City mm -hmm. will be come to manifest as Longtown City, yeah, that you have all these things, that's hope. So what you're saying in long term is hope is what you believe in, you're right? Okay, so is religion is religion what you believe in or is it what you do according or or is it what you're practicing to believe in your generation no we we, we we was talking about how many phds mm -hmm. we talk about how many doctors we talk about how many professors we talk about how many business people there you know it's what you do with that do you know where the richest place in this world it, it keeps changing. No. Nope. Africa. No. Nope. The graveyard. <laughs> look, 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 now look at all that wisdom <laughs> and all that knowledge. Yeah. It's there, right? Yeah. Right, right there. Is the next generation going to make the graveyard rich or it going to be manifest to make mankind better? See, one day we all got to die. I'm yeah. talking to you right now. I'm 71 years old. Yeah. I, like I said, I got to die. Yeah. And wherever they park me at, you know, the chief parker go come in there and he gonna look at me. He gonna pull up the grave. He gonna ask me one question. Yeah. Did you help the least of my what little one? I want my answer to be yes. Mm -hmm. That's why I try to give up everything that I got in my body 
we'll cash it in right here on earth. Yeah. You'll die. So, so like you said, your hope is helping the generation. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, young people is your heart, the next generation your heart. I mean, like with all the stuff, you take an inventory of what your generation have around in history, in religion, in money. money. Yeah. Look what. Al, Al, Al. <laughs> you don't have to listen to man. Yeah. All you got to do is get your get your uh, phone. Yeah. Type it in. There's <laughs> no reason that you can't have hope. Yeah. There's no reason that you cannot have. Uh, like you say, we 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 know. Yeah. You you got you got you got more people going to college, mm -hmm. going to seminary. I mean, anything you want, they pick up the phone. Call call somebody. Yeah. Call somebody. <clears throat> but then you gonna say. I didn't have to leave the little one. Yeah. Cause I didn't have no hope. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I'm not crazy about the Santa Claus story. You know, anybody know me, you know, I don't, I'm not crazy about the Santa Claus story. But I, I do like one thing about the story when, when you know, they teach you the more people that believe in Santa, the stronger he becomes, the more capable he is, you know, the less people. Who believes in Santa, you know, he started to phase away. Now, I'm not saying God is like that. I'm not saying that less people, you know, believe in God, he, he don't have his power. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is the more of us who believe, we give ourselves the power he intends us to have. You know, it's, that's where religion comes in at. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times we see a person outside of here. God said, don't look at thy side up here. Look at the what hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, and we begin to worship people. Well, like, but, if, but if we stay in the word of God, we stay in, we always worship Jesus. Mm -hmm. We give him the, what's it called? Like president. I mean, I mean, 45. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean like, 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 but, 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 but we worship him. Worship him. They said in 2022, I want to see Jesus in 22. Yeah, they saw him. Cobra. Yeah. Cobra. Then they say, I want Jesus. Uh, 2024. Yeah, they see him. You're sure. <laughs> Couldn't nothing stop that, but you're sure. Yeah. Like, like I said, you sure what's it there? And they said, you're sure. Yeah. I mean, you're sure. That's the power of the Where do you get that from? So, the Bible. So, so do you think that's where relationships and this climax that we are in in this uh, internet world, do you think that that's where relationships have went wrong over the past 10, 15, 20 years maybe. Uh, we tend to worship the person we in love with rather than Jesus, like you say. You be careful who you let what's in your ear. I mean, you could pick, you could pick up TikTok one while. It'll tell you one thing. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> I picked up TikTok Saturday. I mean, Sunday. I pick up TikTok Sunday. You on TikTok? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to keep up. I got to keep, keep up, child. I, I can't send a rock chip. I'm not yeah, even I, on TikTok. I, 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 but but, but, but get, what, get, what, get what somebody say. What? Dress, you got the wrong man. <laughs> what that did to you? Yeah, it made you believe. That, that, that's why you had to go to Sunday school. Yeah. That's why you had to go to Bible study. Mm -hmm. You had to keep focused in the Word of God. Yeah. I mean, if I had the Word of God yeah. in 1970, <laughs> when it was my time, 50 yeah. years ago, I've yeah. been strong. Yeah, but you have no excuse. Mm -hmm. You got, you got, you, 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 you like to say, you need to spend some time. Get up in the morning. Yeah, the way to go because that's the, the person you're talking to. Man, you make him a prophet. You make him an antichrist because you, you know, believe in. It, you know, it was different back in the day. You wanted to hear somebody else's opinion. You had to go to where they were you, no, you to hear their opinion. Like you had to bump into them in the grocery store. Oh, you had you to catch them around the corner. You like, now it. you just get on the phone. You go to California. You go to California just like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, go, yeah. You, go, you, go, you go to California. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. look at the T.D.J. story. Yeah. If you follow that T.D.J., they're they telling this, they're telling that, they're telling that. Other, other night, we were sitting there. Me and my wife sitting there. And somebody said that uh, they finna bump view off the, view off the uh, TV, right? Mm, yeah. I, I turn, get Google. <laughs> Google. No, Google told me. What? Fake news. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I, and I, and by that time, I could have just got it and ran out of the community. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, you got it right there. Yeah. You, 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 you got, you yeah. got, you got any kind of similar training you got right yeah. in your hand. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Uh, just your opinion, and I always, I always ask everybody. 
I, I ask people all the time in the shop. I have my opinion on it. I just like to hear other people's opinion to cross-reference with mine. Is love um, an emotion and a feeling? Love is oh. action. That's why we need to go to the Bible. Mm -hmm. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Yeah. If you, if you ain't giving anything, that ain't love. It ain't love. That ain't love. You, 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 you can wrap up. It's, now, look how I just keep, look at the PhDs. Yeah. Look at the principals. Look at the doctors, right? Yeah. And if you don't invest in the community. Yeah. You, like you say, there's that's a line going down through your family right now. Yeah. All you got to do is say, hey, I want to talk about this. Meet mm. me right here. Yeah. We, we have family union. Yeah. We be sitting in the yard. And I sit there and try to for you know it, all them kids were around, were sitting around, they want they wants to know the truth. Yeah. And like and said, that's, and and that's, love, we give the truth. Yeah, and, and th thank you. <laughs> I was just wondering if we were on the same page, you know what I'm saying? Where'd you get that from? My own philosophy is no, just listening no, to... You got to the word of God. Jesus, Jesus, your grandma been teaching you that ever since you come out. That's she, true. She, she couldn't read it. That, that's true, but experience had to be the... Experience was a real teacher. Like, I don't think... Without them telling me, I think it, I'd probably just figure this out today. But I figured it out, you know, 15 years ago. But it was it it was always told to me. But experience really was the one. It really was what showed. Me. How are you? I'm 43. When I was coming up, I was kicked out at 18. Mm -hmm. That's when they closed Drake School. I was president student council. I was out there working, but they know what they told me. I couldn't even come to the table till I got fought. <laughs> I couldn't even come in the room till I got fought. <laughs> because that's what you to have room to what? Grow. Yeah. To grow. And when you get fought, you come to the table. Yeah. You got a better mind. Yeah. Like you say, I, I've been preaching 50 years. Yeah. Right? But it was 30 years. Yeah. So God sent me down here and said, look, you know, you know, you've been doing all this. Yeah. Because that desire your heart. But to have real wisdom. It's ancient time. Yeah. It, they, they, mm -hmm. they used to go around, man. They be thought doing doing some stuff, you know. I mean, and I, like, I, I party. No. <laughs> you laugh too much. Yeah. You you can't keep nothing quiet. Religion, but when my time come. Yeah. So and that's it's, you it's your time. Your yeah. time to get. You was a, you are a a community organizer. Yeah. You you are a community. It's Without time. Without knowing. It, 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 <laughs> you, you already know it. Yeah. But like I said, it's your time to get them in the yeah. room. Right. Through this ministry. Right. Through, you get you get you get you getting all these people in here and you community organized. Yeah. If 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 if, if you get everybody in the room that you grew up with on Killer Creek and Toba Creek, yeah. you can change the world. Change the world. Where do we go wrong with the emancipation if we went wrong and how do we get it back? Um celebration I meant to say. Emancipation celebration, I'm sorry. Except the truth. For emancipation for for seven years, but for for, for uh, emancipation for almost hundred years have been living a lie. I'm not talking about nineteen from nineteen twenty six from nineteen in nineteen 27 to 2027 is 100 years. We got three. And our, we got started because we own our own land. We got our own, own land. You can't come in and tell us what to do, how to do it. Even downtown, right? They have that because they own their own property. As long as they don't get in the street, you know, they own their own property. Until we come back and own our own land. And we got to realize that the land we have is legally corrupted, uh, community corrupted, racy corrupted, all that because we joined in, everybody that took a part in the lie. Now you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't put it on one race, but everybody joined in the lie, right? Mm -hmm. It corrupt. I mean, illegal is tough, but we have already gotten six, six acre land. Mouse patient got their own land. If all these creeks come together, in uh, 1954, when the school board uh, redid the deeds and denied the deeds and uh, got people signed in their, their belief, mm -hmm. you know, what Monroe Ward did, he went to the other creek. 
He went to Turkey Creek and Bill Crest. He came to Bell Creek and Bill Lake of Paul. He went to uh, Toba Creek and Bill Cunningham. And he come to Drake Creek and Bill Drake Creek, in spite of the lie. And so when we can come together with all this knowledge, wisdom, you know, if we wasn't, if we, 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 we wasn't list black people's jobs today. Yeah. We have black people's jobs today. Yeah. Right? You know, it's, it's far beyond what it used to be. Right. But we bring all these black people jobs mm -hmm. there and put them on the table and show that love, invest in them. We change it. Yeah. We change we, 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 we can change And like you say, <clears throat> masturbation, everybody fuss about two emancipation. Yeah. One downtown, one but in the park. Like the park is the elder people. Right. But elder people. So elder people go, we're going to go out there, we're going to have ourselves, we're right. going to have our speaker, right? Right. Downtown, the young people. Young folk. <laughs> I mean, are we going to destroy our young people? Destroy that? But we have to come together as an organizer, as a family, and come together and make it better. All right, all right. So I hear tell that the celebration originally was Color Town. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> How did it get to Lincoln Park? I don't know. But that's when I came in, the celebration. We would all be in. We all came in together. They moved there in 1927. Okay. Who who did 1927? All right, all right. So given to everything you just said, the notion or the idea of having the celebration around the square is not going to happen. No. It's never going to happen. But I'm saying I'm asking because it has been conversation in the barbershop. Some people are like, nah, we ain't with that. And some are like, yeah, that will be cool. So what do you think? When we get this last, last uh, parade, this past year, you know, that's turnpike up there. Mm -hmm. So we had to figure out a way to get it to do our parade. Right. I came up with the idea of leaving it and going out Hot Top Street mm -hmm. and go up, right? Look at the hair that you're losing. Then, then somebody came out with the idea of going to Matthew Field and coming across there. So the best place to do, the best thing with business. Is bring it down Bell Street, hold up the heritage, right? Turn it and go by the post office and go to Lane Park. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a lot of ways we can do this. You hold up the heritage. In 1994, before 1994, 29th May was celebrated on that day. That day, but uh, we community came up with a small idea. Mm -hmm. And we put it on a weekend, we get people traveling time. We get it, we get it. But it gets do y'all do you, I just, do you hear that? Because there's so many questions to why this, why that, why this, why that. Go to a meeting. <laughs> we, like, like I said, they build a travel time, which is better. People come down here Friday night. Yeah. I cook all night. Get up sad and look at the parade. Mm -hmm. And then go out there and speak. And they come back downtown. They come back where they are. All your family members, all your family at your house. Yeah. All the family, so that stole Lane Park out. Mm -hmm. Right. And we had kept it right there. So it's better for what? Everybody. But guess what? You change history. Yeah. How are you go how are you gonna celebrate emancipation? Yeah. On uh on a moral weekend. Yeah. You cha you change the date. You you change and that's how, how Juneteenth got ahead of us. Okay. Uh, they, 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 they put a June team, right? Yeah. We could have, we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> who taught us we were confused? Yeah. They're like, and, and who taught us we were confused? So that, that's, that's the thing. You change the name, you change history. Yeah. You have to be careful when you change the name. Yeah. When you talk all these bills now here and call it downtown, you change, you change, you change history. Yeah. But back in color town. Be the color people here. I never could understand why they would call this downtown. Because, because change the history. <laughs> I mean, I mean be, be like I said, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't have to include. Yeah. That name in Caesar's Thomas. Yeah. But but the, but then when 1970, right? When we when we when we moved downtown, we 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 holla, don't call me color, call me African American. We change the name, change the history. Yeah, and I, and that and that's our focus. Though. Yeah, it's changing. It's changing our focus. Ladies and gentlemen, know your history, especially about your community. If you don't know, 
rewind this part, this episode as many times as you like. Also, Mr. McGill has a book. It's called First 100 Years of Sky Negro History. I'm pretty sure he got some copies, and we'll figure out a way to get into a digital form. No, you hear so this. All of this was enlightening to me. I hope it's enlightening to you. I hope it don't rub nobody the wrong way. I hope the county don't try to come after me because we aired out some things that they might not want to say. I don't know. You know, I'm just really, you know, it's just like if you had AIDS or herpes or cancer, wouldn't you want to know? You would want to know, right? So that's all we are doing. We're just trying to bring you to the know. We don't want to make nobody upset. I don't want the police trying to pull me over later. <laughs> all right? This is Colored Town. It is what it is. You don't have to call it that. That's what I'm finna call it. Next time you're talking to me, you be like, hey, bro, meet me in Colored Town. Come down to the shop. We in Colored Town. You know what I'm talking about, all right? Mr. McGee. You know, <clears throat> uh, I'm like this. There was a man that was afraid to fly an airplane. And he told the man, come fly with me. Come fly with me. Come fly with me. Come fly with me. He said, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Come fly with me. I'm scared. So he said, okay, I fly. He got on the plane, plane got on the track. He got on the track, and the thought turned up. You know, while the plane got in the air, there was a big turbo tur- tur- came in, and the plane started rocking like it going to tear up. And, yeah. the, and the man sat there like he was cool, calm, collected. He said, I thought you would fly. He said, I should have thought about that before the plane left the ground. <laughs> you know, this is what God put on me. Yeah. To tell the truth. Right. If I got to die, Tell the truth. I'm going to tell Jesus I did what you told me right. to. I told you to. <laughs> and like, you know, and, and our history yeah, has been held so long yeah, because we was afraid to speak out. Mm-hmm. Before 2017, you asked somebody when the emancipation started, all they could tell you, that's when we got the news. Right. But the history always been our God. Everything I say is written. Because if, if it didn't re- it didn't record. Yeah. So, you know, I'm in there. <laughs> if I offend you, I offend you. The plane crash, the plane crash. <laughs> well, I appreciate you coming through. Uh, we've been trying to get this going for a long time. I feel like I'm, I'm happy we finally did it. And uh, so y'all enjoy it, man. We're going to get out of here. <laughs>